What's up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema. Mr. James Shu and Mr. Bell. Josh Bell hates everything. Josh Bell hates everything. Dot com. Um, Real quick review on uh, Spider Man's in Mel Gibson in Bravehearts. In Bravehearts. In the other, the in the other movie. The called already. <laughs> Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw Ridge. <laughs> oh, Spider Man versus Braveheart. Right? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. going to be an interesting. Movie. So I saw the movie yesterday. Yeah. And I I thought this movie was. I have not. I thought it was fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was fantastic. I thought, um, God, I think Mel Gibson just knows how to make like this type of film, like these war movies. And I, I really loved the ending during the credits where the real guy is talking to us and all that. So I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was really good. I want to know what you know. I, I disagree with everything you just said. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, not necessarily about Mel Gibson. Uh, to be to, to be perfectly honest, I've never seen Braveheart. Oh my so, gosh, that's like my top ten of all time. And I, I'm Braveheart's sure. in your top ten? I would have never guessed Yes. That. Really? Yes. Okay. Sorry. But I have seen The Passion of the Christ and Apocalypto, which I think is really good. Um, and, and I do think he's... Ransom. Good at... Did he Ransom. direct Ransom? I no. think he did direct Ransom. No, oh, did he? Howard. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Ransom's good. But though. not that it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's anyway. Yeah. Um, so, I can't necessarily completely disagree with you about Mel Gibson, but I think I really did not like this movie. And I, one of my pet peeves is that bit that you were talking about at the end. This is really not one of the major problems with this movie, but where they show the real person at the end. They do that in so many movies based on true stories these days. We did it in Deepwater Horizon and in Sully, and it just takes you out of the drama, I feel like. And it gives you like, this, this very heavy-handed, like, remember, this was a real guy, and you are real people, and you better appreciate this movie and how important these people are and the story we told about them. And when Josh criticizes the movie, he's not criticizing the real guy. You guys may realize this <laughs> fact versus fiction. Right, but crazy. Yeah, don't go crazy. And that, and that's, <laughs> but that's, I think, the whole thing is, is it an underhanded technique because people are like, well, how could you criticize this movie? No, I agree this guy you. was amazing, and therefore the movie was amazing. But those are two separate things. The guy like was Lone amazing. Like Lone Survivor, they did that. And I was like, that's not oh, fair. And that <laughs> Because they literally show like videos of these people's wedding, and you're right, like, you can't right, do like, that and expect people not to experience sad, emotion. Right. Dead people's weddings. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, but that's a side issue. Well, what if that part didn't exist? <laughs> right, right. And I, I still didn't like the movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think this is a very poorly written movie. The first hour is like a Hallmark movie. It's so corny. At least say Lifetime. <laughs> no, it's not even that that level. Damn. It's like Come a on. Hallmark movie. Hall of Fame movie about the hayseed and the nurse falling in love and their Nicholas Sparksian dialogue between them. And Andrew Garfield is so bad in this movie and his got, accent is terrible and he's got this like, oh, you want him, I, I imagine him like, you know, chewing on a, a piece of wheat or whatever, like it's like on a hee-haw or something like that. <laughs> hee-haw. And then, and then it totally shifts gears and that second half is what you're talking about, the intense war action. and. It's well staged. There's a lot of good stunts, I think, but this is a movie about a guy who is nonviolent. His whole, you know, the whole reason we're making a movie about him is because he has this philosophy of nonviolence, and this movie wallows in this extreme, it's like a Saw movie in the amount of gore that there is. Dun, dun, dun. And, dun, 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 um, dun. Yeah, and it's still corny, and it's still cheesy, and the acting is still bad, and anyway, it, I didn't like it. That was a major criticism that I heard, that how does a movie about a person who chose to be um, a pacifist wallow in such violence right, and graphic nature? Right. And it, but I also hear that, that in that, like, take that context out of the movie, that that is some of the best war um, scenes that we've seen since Saving Bright Ryan. It's well staged. I think there's some questionable CGI at certain points, especially they use CGI squibs, which I hate, and that's like a hallmark of super low budget horror movies. But the stunt work is really good. It is. What about, I like Vince Vaughn. Yeah, Vince Vaughn. Huh? He hated it. He hated <laughs> it was him. such a, every character in that platoon is such a stereotype of some war movie type. And he's the, the hard nosed drill sergeant who yells at them and gives them insulting nicknames. But then he comes to love them <laughs> and fight for them. And I thought he was so miscast. And he's like smirking at the whole thing. And so, yeah, no, I'm sorry to. So the question I'm right, sure, right over you here, like many right. of you are debating, do we see, do I see Hacksaw Ridge? And I think you should just watch because I'm curious what you're in this thing. Yeah. Should, I mean... Do you recommend us to see it You have to watch, watch the movie every day, so why not watch this <laughs> right. in one of them? I mean, if you're, That's if you're true. curious about it, see it. But I, I mean, but there are I, many movies that could be better to watch, too. Yeah, and it's long. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, long. it's not that long. But, 220. Um, cool. Is it that long? Okay, yeah. Okay, well, uh, it's long. long. Plus previews, 240. Yeah. But no, I've heard I mean, this I, debate. Like, I, it, it, This is a very you know, argued movie. I think overall, 
on Rotten Tomatoes, it's, it's got a it's, fairly yeah, successful I'm, I'm rating. In the minority, but, I, but from, from people just like that I've heard talking, there is just like this really like big separation. Yeah, I can't recommend it to be perfectly. <laughs> and I, I recommend it. So, Hacksaw Ridge, what did you think down here? Why don't you be the deciding factor in this battle? Because I've not seen it yet. And uh, watch Arrival. <laughs> yeah, watch Arrival. Go see our review. Click that white eye right above Mr. Josh Bell's head. Uh, you can also check out. Mr. Shoes YouTube channel and all the other fun stuff we have going on. Again, Josh Bell's website. Josh Bell hates everything.com and follow him on Twitter at SignalBleed. Yeah, but what do people don't know about what ChasingCinema.com is about? ChasingCinema.com knows the film lover's website. 